Hi, I'm Buddy Cook. Today I want to talk to you about this. This is a bugle-shaped object. Um, these are made in uh, India, sometimes Pakistan, out of just uh, some cheap sheet copper. Um, <clears throat> meant to represent a bugle. And, I mean, they do have an air column, so it is somewhat playable. Uh, <clears throat> but there is a difference between, say, this and a truly manufactured instrument. This is a, a duty bugle from uh, Boozy and Co. in London. Um, I threw them on a scale, so this weighs 333 grams or about just under 12 ounces. This one, the real instrument, weighs 563 grams or about a pound four ounces. So, you know, this, this is about twice the weight of one of these. This is about half the weight. That's how much less, you know, brass and copper there is in these. Um, you know, some, the, the, the sad part is sometimes you also see these sold in the United States. They'll, they'll, they'll say it's a Civil War bugle. This is, this is a British pattern bugle. These were never used in the Civil War. There are no photographs uh, from the Civil War era of field buglers using anything like this. Um, you know, most of their horns then were single twist instead of you know, something double twist like this. And uh, so it's just kind of wrong to call it that. You can find them with all kinds of badges, especially the 7th Cavalry, because that was popular. Um, but they're not actually from any of those. This was not used by the American military ever. Um, and yeah, like I said, so this is just, you can tell right away when you pick it up, it's so much lighter. And the construction on it is, you know, it, it's held together, it's soldered together, and that's about all you can say for it. Um, you know, and, and this doesn't have as good a quality sound. You know, it's very airy. There's probably leaks at every joint in here versus, say, a real one. You can see even the key is off. You know, it um, it is what it is. They're cheap. They're decorative. Um, you can kind of get a sound out of them, although, you know, I... If someone was trying to learn bugles, oh, this is something cheap. Nah, it, it's not really worth it because it's just such a bad quality sound. Um, but, you know, these are out there on the market. So just be aware that um, you can kind of, the giveaway is there's no markings on here. There's no maker's mark. It doesn't even say, you know, made in India. You can find some that say made in India. That's a real giveaway. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't have a manufacturer on here, then it, it's really not coming from a quality instrument maker. Um, and, and really you can tell when you pick them up how light they are. Like I said, it's, it's about half the weight of what it should be. Um, but you know, that's what they are. They are kind of a, a thing that's out there and you can find them. Um, I also found it interesting to look at the size difference. So if, if we put the one up next to the other, you can, you can kind of see that the, uh, the Gunga Din bugle here that they're sometimes called, it's actually smaller. Um, it's not as tall. Uh, in the wrap, the wraps aren't as round. Um, you can see in the back bow there how much wider uh, the real one is in, in the flare uh, than these are. Um, even right from the, the lead pipe, is a little bit thicker. Um, the bells, eh, well, you know, it's hard to tell. This one's missing its garland, um, so that's not quite uh, as much of a distinction. Um, you know, but uh, but really the the wrap size you can you can see there are. Are a bit different in the uh, the curvature so <clears throat> um, so that's my comparison of the uh, Gunga Din bugle bugle shaped object <laughs> um, yeah Anyway, um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and share this video. Um, leave any comments you like uh, down below. And uh, hopefully we can make some more of these and have a great day.